Greetings to you from wherever you're watching us uh, in the world. This is the uh, Monday edition of the show. I'm Yemi Adebayo. And I'm Cecilia. I'm all, well, let's get started with the show. Of course, we're starting with what happened in London. Well, again, Nigeria went to London without coming back without any medal. Remember what happened in 2012? That was the Olympics. But for the second time at the World Championships, Nigeria is coming back without a medal. All right, we move to football now, and uh, the squirrels of Benin Republic uh, defeated Nigeria's home base Super Eagles. A very late goal uh, gave the squirrels the edge uh, over um, the Super Eagles. A very late penalty uh, we hear gave the squirrels victory in that one. We'll talk about that much later on the show. And also on the program, we talk tennis, where Roger Federer wasn't just the man on the night. He was stunned by a 20-year-old German at the Rogers Cup in Montreal on Sunday night. Yep, that's where it goes, and we're going to be starting from there. Okay, no, we're starting with the way of World Championship, what happened in London to Team Nigeria. You would say it wasn't the outing uh, that we expected, or rather, some of us actually expected the outing mm -hmm. because yeah. of... The elections, the no preparations, no board, and all the issues that went down this year. But somehow, the ladies went there. We got to just two finals, the long jump, plus no Kagbari, and also the 4 by 400 meters, really. I remember when the list came out and the focus was on, okay, uh, let's look at Blessing. Maybe long jump, she can get something out. Then look at uh, Patient Soko George and the likes. Maybe they can get something out also. By the end of the day, the two, you know, more like where we had a hopeful event, we didn't get anything. Toby Lola Musa also, also had a little pressure on her in the huddles. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're thinking she'll be able to make it to the final. But at the semi-final huddles, that's where she crashed out. Well, no surprises. We huffed and puffed. and We knew we were always going to do that. Whether it was going to be enough to get us a medal uh, was the big question. And we, we went to London um, with our hearts in our mouths. We, we, we knew if we take something extraordinary from our athletes to uh, get us something. And um, I do agree with you that nobody is really surprised. We, we have gone past that stage where we are disappointed. And, you know, you look at this race and... You know, it, it just tells the whole story. It tells the whole story of how uh, we, the Nigerian spirit can push you so far, but you still might not get there because you have to do more than enough. And I'm, I'm sitting here, I can't blame anybody. I can't blame, no, I can't blame the athletes. I could blame maybe the administrators. But, but, but you could see that these athletes gave their best. On the day, their best just uh, wasn't uh, enough. And uh, I feel sorry uh, for most of them. Uh, you know, some of them might even be thinking of uh, switching um, allegiance to other countries. <laughs> that on, that's we've, <laughs> we, we've seen our athletes do that in the past, and they go yeah. on to win. win even yeah. at this World Championship, we, we, we saw athletes of Nigerian descent go run for other countries and end up on the medal table. So something... Uh, uh, it's probably okay. uh, wrong in the system. Yeah, what well, the pictures we're seeing on the screen right now happens to be, okay, the Jamaican, I mean, 24 mm -hmm. hours more like after Usain Bolt had a pull-up in the 4 by 100 meters, 4 by 400 meters, you just saw the Jamaican there, yeah. you know, you know, pulling up another uh, kind of a muzzle pull. But then Alison Phyllis is the lady you actually need to give it to here. How she started the run and just maintained the pace. But somehow, take a look at Nigeria at this particular time. I was thinking, okay, we were actually in that poor position to be at, at, at the medal stand because Patient Sokonjo did a very good run. She had a very good start. But somehow, Abike just wasn't able to keep up the pace. The mm -hmm. lady who ran second. And the third lady somehow managed it, but she just couldn't. And you know, when you have the Americans, the British, but I was surprised by Poland anyway, the way they were able to run. I felt, okay, we're still in that method, so maybe we'll just finish a third, you know, ahead of USA and, of course, Great Britain, then Nigeria will come third. But how uh, uh, Poland was able to just, you know, beat everybody to it and somehow they were able to finish a third. Just look at the class the Americans showed here. Now, this is the uh, third uh, button exchange. And see this particular situation, I was thinking, okay, she should have been running. I mean, just start running before the medal comes to her. <laughs> well, but she waited. She waited until she got to it before she started, you know, <laughs> kind of started running. But, but you know, well, Americans got a class. The British got a class. But we just don't have that extra push that we felt should have, yeah. you know. It pains me when I talk about, <laughs> when I talk about the Brits because... 
I mean, a, a lot of them are, are, are from this part of the world. A, a lot of people who represent uh, them are from this part of the world. Uh, sometimes in the past, we used to be better than them, so they did something. Uh, but what this uh, championship has uh, shown us, Jamaica has been demystified. Yeah. The United States have been demystified. They are beatable if you can put your house in order. They are very beatable uh, if you can do the right things. And uh, we, we saw all uh, the major events, uh, like you said, the United States show, showing class, doing what we Just in we a all, class of their own. Francis just took we all it know that, just uh, didn't uh, they, they look do. back. I, I think from here, and Nigeria, uh, just take a look at this finishing of fifth. But then another thing you need to also take a look at is the father, Abike Egbeni. She actually arrived uh, in London on Saturday. And, you know, Bambu, she was supposed to have started, but she didn't uh, because she was injured so you have Egrim drafted in you know Egrim was able to you know do the um the, the heat mm -hmm. qualified yeah. nigeria but she didn't join the last four we had abike egbeni who came on later i mean she had a tick she got a visa on friday night and they even had to rush out and see how they can actually see, get out to london <laughs> on do saturday and no i'm just again. trying to explain yeah. because I, I i felt we had a weak link there yeah. if all the athletes were as spectacular the way Patience Oko just started. Just maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe something special could have happened like the on the it. night. <laughs> but just maybe. We didn't see that simply because, you know, may, uh, I don't know, you know, uh, okay, we have Abike Egbeni, we have Patience Oko George, Glory, Nathaniel, and Yinka Ajay, you mm -hmm. know, you did the last. As much as uh, I, run. as but much as I, it's, 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 uh, I agree with you. I think uh, the girls really they, did their they best. They did, they give yeah. the best. That, that's what I said earlier. There as much as I, I agree with you, uh, Cecilia, we all know uh, on this side of the fence, when we do our job, if and what if yeah. doesn't really count and that's why i said let's not do this to ourselves let's just accept the results uh, in good faith and look forward to how we can make things better for ourselves someone that i respect so much says it's so sad that we don't learn you can play back what you said 10 years ago you can go to your I'm still gonna say it again. social media whatever you said 10 years ago You're and word for word it still applies today. That means we don't learn. And so okay. that's why it's, it's not comfortable for me to sit here and talk about what we can do because the people 